Hello, my name is Father Tom Denty, pastor of Notre Dame Church in North Caldwell. Welcome to our Liturgy of the Word to celebrate the year of St. Joseph. Let us take a moment now to pray and ask St. Joseph to intercede for us, especially praying for the qualities that he is known for, strength, faith, humility. During this time of pandemic, we are in need of Joseph's prayers. Let us take a moment to raise them to our God in heaven. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that by St. Joseph's intercession, your Church may constantly watch over the unfolding of the mysteries of human salvation, whose beginnings you entrusted to his faithful care. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Apostolic Letter of Pope Francis entitled Patrice Corde. My desire to declare a holy year of St. Joseph so increased during these months of pandemic, when we experience amid the crisis how our lives are woven together and sustained by ordinary people, people often overlooked, people who do not appear in newspaper and magazine headlines or on the latest television show, yet in these very days are surely shaping the decisive events of our history. Doctors, nurses, storekeepers and supermarket workers, cleaning personnel, caregivers, transport workers, men and women working to provide essential services and public safety, volunteers, priests, men and women religious, and so very many others, they understood that no one is saved alone. How many people daily exercise patience and offer hope, taking care to spread, not panic, but shared responsibility? How many fathers, mothers, grandparents, and teachers are showing our children in small everyday ways how to accept and deal with crisis by adjusting their routines, looking ahead, and encouraging the practice of prayer? How many are praying, making sacrifices, and interceding for the good of all? Each of us can discover in Joseph, the man who goes unnoticed, a daily discreet and hidden presence, an intercessor, a support and a guide in times of trouble. St. Joseph reminds us that those who appear hidden or in the shadows can play an incomparable role in the history of salvation. A word of recognition and of gratitude is due to them all. Let us bless the Lord and, and give him, him thanks. thanks.
I will sing forever of your mercies, O Lord. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your fidelity. I have declared your mercy is established forever. Your fidelity stands firm as the heavens. The Son of David will live forever. With my chosen one I have made a covenant. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your descendants forever and set up your throne through all ages. The Son of David will live forever. He will call out to me, You are my Father, my God, the rock of my salvation. I will keep your faithful love for him always. With him my covenant shall last. The Son of David will live forever. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, O Lord. They cease to praise you. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jacob was the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who was called the Christ. Now, this is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived in her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What do Wallace Simpson, the Apollo 8 astronauts, and Pope St. John Paul II all have in common? Sounds like a trivia game, doesn't it? Well, they all graced the cover of Time magazine as man or person of the year at one time or another. The only major requirement to be on the cover as person of the year is that you are both well-known and somehow influential on a global level. History, of course, is full of names of those who have made names for themselves on the world stage. But is it possible that you could become known, admired, and even revered for not being famous, for not being well-known at all, actually? It seems like the answer to that question, especially this year, is yes. Yes, because this year is a year dedicated to one such person, St. Joseph. Everyone knows St. Joseph, 
and yet he did not do much to draw attention to himself. He is, of course, the husband of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the stepfather of Jesus of Nazareth. We are all familiar with the story that when Joseph discovered Mary to be pregnant out of wedlock, he decided to divorce her quietly because he was a righteous man. But then when visited by an angel himself, he realized this was part of God's plan and he was to play a small role in it as well. Joseph did the right thing. He married Mary and helped her to raise Jesus. He protected the Holy Family in a quiet, strong, and humble way. And because of that, he is well-loved by many around the world. So much so, in fact, that 150 years ago, blessed Pope Pius IX named him as the patron of the Universal Church. He protects us even now with quiet humility and strength. Pope Francis decided to make December 8th of 2020 through December 8th of 2021 a year of St. Joseph to honor the anniversary of his naming. In his letter announcing the year, Pope Francis noted that there are many Josephs around today, during this pandemic, who quietly and humbly do the sacrificial work of helping others. We need the example of Joseph now more than ever to get us through these difficult times. St. Joseph was a working man, a carpenter by trade. It is supposed that Jesus would have at least spent time in his father's carpenter shop, if not perhaps have even picked up some of the trade himself. In fact, in our cathedral in Newark, there is a window of the Holy Family, and they are all in the carpenter shop. Joseph with his tools, Mary spindling wool, and Jesus having just crafted a small wooden cross. We sometimes think of the Holy Family as being at prayer all day, but just like us, they had jobs to do and bills to pay. There are two feast days in the church which honor Joseph, his solemnity on March 19th and St. Joseph the Worker on May 1st. The feasts of Christmas, such as Christmas itself and Holy Family, also shine a light on the deeds of this good saint. And one could argue that the secular holiday of Labor Day brings Joseph to mind as well. In the Gospel of Matthew, which features the story of the angel appearing to Joseph, there is a passage where Jesus is criticizing the religious leaders of his day. He says to them, Whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be exalted. One wonders if the example of his earthly stepfather helped Jesus convey this divine message. He would have known Joseph as a man who was holy, observed his religious practices not to gain attention with others, but to give witness to his faith in his one true father, God. And of course, Jesus is known for remarkably referring to God in heaven as Abba, a word that means not father, but daddy. Jesus must have found a wonderful father figure and example of faith in St. Joseph. Jesus wanted all of us to understand that the love of our God is like the love of a good father. May we look to the simple, quiet, humble, strong man of St. Joseph as a model for us all, to be good and holy people, not doing good things to be seen or noticed by anyone but God, our Father in heaven. Could it be this baby in my arms sleeping now so peacefully? The Son of God, the angel said, How.
How could it be? Lord, I know he's not my own, not of my flesh. The Lord is the giver of holiness. Let us turn to God and pray. All Holy Father, you reveal to St. Joseph your eternal plan of salvation in Christ. Deepen our understanding of your Son, true God and true man. We pray. Father Father in heaven, heaven, hear hear our our prayer. prayer. Father in heaven, you feed the birds of the air and clothe the fields with the fruit of the earth. Give all your children their daily bread to sustain soul and body. We pray. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. Maker of the universe, you have entrusted your creation to our safekeeping. May all who work receive a just reward for their labors. We pray. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. God of all righteousness, you want us all to be like you. May St. Joseph inspire us to walk always in your way of holiness. We pray. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. Look kindly on the dying and the dead, and grant them your mercy through the intercession of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. We pray. Father in heaven, hear our prayer. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray. Our Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Thank you for joining us for our Liturgy of the Word for the Year of St. Joseph. We hope that this time of prayer and reflection has helped you to enkindle your love for this great saint. The Lord be with you. And And with with your your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, 
and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.